everyone, we're Anthony and Krista, and we've just been traveling in a... What is it again? We've been living in this Ram Promaster camper van for the last two months. We rented this thing on Outdoorsy through an absolute legend we met, and the van has been absolutely incredible. So this is a Promaster 1500, I believe, from nine, uh, 2019, and it has been converted by Road Tech with the kitchen and all that sort of good stuff. So let's do a quick run through. Here's the back of the van. Open this up. So you can actually open these doors all the way out like this, which is pretty cool for when you're sitting at the back. A bit of rubbish, ignore that. And this is the back of the van. Here's ignore that. Which is pretty cool. So you can sit here and then just admire the view. It's amazing. So it's a good little spot. You can pull up to any lookout and sit on the bed and just watch. It's incredible. window here in the kitchen area you can open and then this is the main way we get in the van with the slide door slide all the way out locks into place you've got a nice little step here so you can get in mind you don't hit your head which i've done several times and this is it this is the kitchen area this is where i'll let krista take over this is our van so when you come in the first thing you'll see is this two doors and I think this is the most important thing that we didn't realize we're going to need, but we have used quite a bit. So we have a shower and a toilet, only for number one. And it's mainly just me using it for, you know, peeing. So it's pretty good. You've got a little light switch here. Oh. And then you've got a shower head. You can detach it for you to use. It, you just you know turn this on and then you I think you pull this up you pull this up and then you close it and that's it you have a pretty good shower we used this a lot when we were in utah and it was so hot so what's it look like on the inside hold on let's see you for scale just to really show give the experience shower head yeah See? Good size. I mean, it's Pretty small, and it's tight, but it's, it's good size. Yeah, but then, and then you can, it's actually more room. You can lock it, you know? Sometimes when I've had enough of engine, I just hide here. <laughs> Kidding. Okay, so that's the, oh, the toilet is just like pretty straightforward. You just open it, your business, and then how you flush it is you just do this. And that's it. And then Anthony empties it. Yeah, it's great fun. Okay, and a towel, you've got like a little rail in there, you can hang stuff. And then you can close it shut so when we're driving, it doesn't, you know, flap around. Um, really good size mirrors for me, maybe. And then we've got like a tea towel holder here, and then we've got a little fruit basket here that's hanging. Now, what else is here? We've got a mat as well, you know, for when you come in, but we still put a lot of dirt in the bed, which we sweep. And then you've got the kitchen, which is pretty good size. You have extra bench, you hold something like this, and you do that, oh, so, which I use quite a bit. And then you've got some outlet here and a USB port, which is pretty good. And you've got the chopping board. We also use this to eat on the bed sometimes and we just chuck that in there and we have you know lunch with a view so it's pretty good i've used this quite a lot and you can just remove it we've got a good size sink we've got a light on top of the stove and then we have two burner stove which is pretty good because i can cook two things at once and it's powered by propane so uh, what else we've got a microwave which we don't really, we've never used it. I used it mainly for storage, like for chips and like bread. Because it uses a lot of power, it sucks yeah. the battery. We only really use it when we plug in, but we've never no, really plugged we've, in. No, we've so. never used it. Um, we've got a lot of storage down here too. Another plug here. Well, I haven't really used it. And then here we've just got our like cleaning stuff. 
tea towels and just like spray. And then here we've got our pots and pans, a bottle of tequila as well, you know. And we've got this, we've got some plates, we've got cups. So yeah. And then over here we've got our cutlery drawer. And then uh, all around the van we've got all these slides. Jim, Jimmy will demonstrate how do you use it. You push them like this, and then you've got a fan up here as well where you can turn it on. And it's great because it creates a bit of ventilation, A, when you're cooking, and B, when it's quite hot in the van mm -hmm. during summer. And then this is the pantry, which is so big and it's really good because I cook every day and we don't really eat out a lot because it's not very healthy food that they have here. So it's pretty spacious. So we've got like cereal, we've got lots of tea twinings and just a few snacky snacks and some soup and make sure it stays shut. Just push this button. And that's how you lock it in place. <laughs> Then we've got more storage down here, which we store our laptops and other electronic things. And then we've got this massive fridge, which I love. Ta-da! That's what it looks like. It's pretty good. It's totally not full of alcohol. And we have a freezer. Of course, we have ice cream for ice coffee days. But yeah, it's really good size fridge. We're really lucky that we found a van that just accommodates our need. I mean, like we were traveling for 50, 55 days, so we need something big. You know, if we just have like a small little esky, I don't think it's gonna work. But we have a freezer and I love it. Then what else do we have here? We've got some storage up here as well. Oh, you're ready. Oh, I just hit the bed. God, oh, my leg. Yeah, just, okay. Look this one. Oh, we've got a rubbish bin here too. So it stays here. We also recycle. So we've got a box under the bed and then we put all our recycling. Now we go to the bedroom. We put all our shoes under the bed. And it's pretty um dusty down there. So there's a bit of storage down there. So I've also put my tripod, a few other things. Um, there's a water heater here. So you've got some water heater stuff in there. Some storage here too. <clears throat> Where we can hang our clothes, which is pretty handy. This is our bed. This is our resident octopus, Sobi. Um, so it's pretty good. We've got an aircon here, which we've only used once. We've got more USB ports up there so we can charge our phone. Switch on, which is pretty good if you're reading. And then we've got like a window. And the bug nets? Yeah, and the bug nets as well. Because there's heaps of bugs here. <laughs> Um, and then we've got some storage up here. Nice thing. Got my stuff. And then we both have our own little cupboards. So this is my cupboard. Oh no. It's mainly just full of um, my packing cubes. It's pretty neat. And then this is Anthony's. Don't open it, it's gonna fall out. Absolute mess. Uh, so there's two cigarette lighter ports in the back here, which you probably can't quite see, but they power the DVD player and the TV, which is... Which we love so much! ...connected with a little arm here, which is incredible. We've we'll used that quite a bit. And we have been watching David Attenborough and Star Wars. So it's been pretty handy having a TV. And then we also bought an HDMI cable connector which plugs into the smartphone so we can stream Netflix that we've downloaded for offline Disney and Disney Plus as well. We've got scary lights. Um, what else do we have? We've got a cup holder here. Got like a little thing to store my moisturizer. And then sometimes it gets really hot and we don't have, we're not connected to power. So we just bought a USB fan. And for us to block out the sun, we have this magnetic covers. So no one can, like we, we have privacy and you know, like it stops us from waking up at 5.30 when the sun comes up. So it's pretty good. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna, Anthony will show you the front of the van. Yeah, let's have a look. So first of all, you got a fire extinguisher down there. We've never had to use that, thank God. Let me see. 
This is the driver's seat. This is the steering wheel. This is a little fold phone holder. You've got plenty of storage. Um, drink bottle, big compartment down there. We've got our bear spray and a few other things. Compartment there, and then you've obviously got your glove box, a um, few USB charging ports. Which um, is really good. Uh, what else do we have? And we also have a Hawaiian girl and a little cactus man called Manuel. Manuel! We love him. Yeah. All right, let's talk about power and then we can show them the table. So power here, or these little, this control panel here, this was put in by Road Tech who fit out these vans. Uh, you can see how full all the tanks are. So fresh water currently is two thirds full. So this is the water pump. Use that to pump water. You can hear it going as you, here you go. We have water. We don't want to waste water. So when you do want to use these AC plugs, 110 volt, you need to turn the inverter on uh, and that will drain the battery quite fast. So you always have it off if you're not using it. Um, if you do ever overload the power or plug too many USB devices in at once, which is I think quite hard to do. So we have two 100 amp lithium batteries below the van. Um, we had to be careful throughout the trip not to get the van below freezing because we didn't want to damage and crack the yeah. batteries. I believe they freeze and it damages the cells. It goes below uh, zero degrees. And they are stored below the van with the gas. So I'll show you where we keep our gas. This is where the gas is stored and this is where we heard a hissing noise and a leak earlier in our trip. The part we had to replace was up in this section here. Um, so there's a gas valve in here. If you ever do hear a hissing and need to turn it off, you can twist that gas valve and turn it off um, from the main chamber. So we've also got two lithium batteries and they're stored up in there, up in the section towards the top there, under the van. So the van is actually powered by two 100 watt solar panels that are on the roof which you can see up there. So they were great. They kept the, the batteries charged for most of the trip. There were a few days that were pretty rainy and overcast, especially in Canada, where we had very limited power. So we we're just pretty careful with charging too much stuff and I didn't use my laptop or anything. So now onto the fun stuff, the sewerage part of the van. So this is how you fill up the fresh water tank. Just put a hose straight in there. You have a section here. You normally always leave that on, take it off when you need to empty it. So there's two valves. There's one here for the black tank, which is the wheeze, and then there's one here for the grey water. And then that's the master. So you pull that out, and then depending on what you want to empty, you pull out these secondary valves. So there's also a pipe that you connect in the back, a long hose, which plugs into a dumping station. So when you're in a caravan park, you can get rid of your wheeze and use this big, big hose. There's the hose here, so you use that and plug it in. And then this is the power cable. So the power cable plugs in here and then plugs into a um, normal electrical socket. There you go. So now we're just about to have lunch and I'm gonna set up the table. So this is where it's stored in the back door. A lot of vans vary where they put it, but that's where this one is. And then where do you keep the, there's the pole. Got it from here. Which is stored in there. You pull it forward. There's a lever you oh can pull no. up. The rubbish bin. Oh. Did it get squashed? No, it's fine. And you can swing these chairs around like that. Same with this side. And then in there, you've got the anchor point for where to. There you go, wind that in. And you have your table for lunch. Perfect. Welcome to my office. So overall, we really, really, really love this van. This was our home. So hard saying goodbye to our home back home. And so it was really easy for us to settle back to having a base and our transportation. And we love this van so much. We'll do it again. Like we'll rent this van again. Yeah, this van's been incredible. When we are doing it again, we're gonna go fly to San Francisco later on after we go to a wedding and we're gonna rent another van. So stay tuned it's for that. It's not gonna be this one. Won't be this amazing van. But it'll be different. So we'll do it again, definitely recommend it if you are planning on seeing all the national parks in, in the west of America. I'm just quickly going to talk about costs. Uh, the van was about $160 US a day 
uh, over 55 days it was almost nine grand uh, US, which sounds quite expensive, but that's our accommodation and we saved a lot of costs because we could cook in the van. So food is quite expensive in America at the moment, especially when you eat out, especially with tipping. But if you play it smart and buy food in supermarkets, you can really keep those costs down. Uh, so we drove from San Diego all the way to Jasper. It was 6,500 miles. Uh, we spent about $2,000 US on fuel. So that's an added cost as well. Um, and then there's laundry and campsites in, in the mix there for costs as well. But overall, if you don't know how much you do. We'll have to tell you that later. But yeah, uh, look, it sounds expensive, but overall I think it's, it's not too bad. I mean, I don't know how else you'd travel in a nice environment in the US. For two and a half months. Two and a half months without mm -hmm. spending that much. But I don't know. So yeah, we, we left our home. It's going to be sad saying goodbye to our home. But on to the next adventure. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the van tour. Thanks everyone.